Hey everyone, if you're a main stage user and you're wondering whether or not you should update to the most recent version of main stage, then this is the video for you because I wanna teach you the two things that you need to do before you update main stage and or your Mac OS. Because if this is the center of your live performance rig, then the most important thing is that your live rig is rock solid, that you know there aren't any unexpected bugs or problems. And sometimes these updates, while they might bring great new features, um, can also introduce new bugs that you might not anticipate. So you just wanna make sure that you set yourself up for success so you can always access these previous versions of the software. So there's only two things that you need to know how to do to make sure that when you update main stage or your Mac, that it doesn't cause any problems that you can't undo. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. First thing we're gonna to need to do is gonna happen over in Finder. So I'm gonna minimize main stage here and open up a Finder window. And then you wanna to navigate to the Applications folder on your computer and you wanna find main stage three right here. Now we need to create a new folder and then we're gonna zip up the entire main stage application and place it inside of that folder. So I'm gonna to go to File here at the top and I'm gonna choose New Folder and then just name it the current version of main stage that you have. So this is main stage 3.3.2 and I'm just gonna name it there. And then you need to right click or control click on main stage three and click compress. And when you click compress, it will take a few minutes for the entire application to be zipped up. But afterwards you'll have a main stage three dot zip file here within applications. So then after you see that main stage three zip file, you can just drag and drop it right here into this main stage 3.3.2 folder that you've created. And then you can have the new version of main stage and the old version of main stage both on your computer at the same time. So once you've got that zip folder created, then you can open up the app store, search for main stage or go to the updates tab and go ahead and update and check out the new features. It, at any time you notice a bug that's a deal breaker for you for live performance, then you can just go back to that zip folder, unzip it and open up the previous version of main stage three from right there. Now the second thing that you need to do, if you're considering updating your Mac, your Mac OS, for example, the most recent version is Mojave. Uh, if you're on High Sierra or Sierra Now, you wanna make sure that you do a full system backup to an external hard drive before you update your Mac OS because main stage in the past has had certain bugs introduced with updates to Mac OS. So you wanna make sure before you upgrade or update that you have a full backup. So to do that, you wanna use the built-in application called Time Machine. So you just go to Spotlight, search for Time Machine, and then when you open it up with an external hard drive connected, it will walk you through the process to create a full system backup to this external hard drive. Just make sure the hard drive you're using is as big or bigger than the built-in hard drive in your Mac. And then if at any time you update to a new Mac OS and it causes some problems and you wanna go back to a previous version, you can just open up Time Machine and restore a full system backup from that backup on your hard drive. So those are the two things you wanna make sure that you do before you update Main Stage 3 or your Mac OS. Because the most important thing is that your live rig is rock solid and ready to go. If you wanna learn more about what we're doing in Main Stage 3, click the link in the description of this video. You'll head over to our website where you can learn more about the tutorials, resources, and sound libraries that we produce for Main Stage users. If this specific video was helpful to you, we really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment and let us know. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Thanks for watching, have a great day.